Hello everyone, it's P Architects here today. I want to show you how to create window and door markers in ArchiCAD. As you can see here, we can see the dimensions of this window. We can see its width is 160 and we can see its height is 140. And also we can see the seal of the window which is 90 cm. Now I'm going to show you how to create this automatically. Alright, here we can see a villa project and I'm going to remove all of the markers for this project. As you can see here, we have no markers and we are going to make them from scratch. Now, let's say that if we are going to create a marker for this window, it's very easy. We will just click this window. We will hit the Ctrl plus T and from the right of the window, we will see this dimension marker. Let's click that and we will open this menu and we will select one of these. We can add marker, we can add window stamp, we can load other window markers and basic window door marker. Let's select them one by one and see what we are going to achieve. By selecting this window door first one, we will see this. It's not too elegant. Let's try something else. Let's try this window marker and we will see this which is way more better. Let's use this. Let's click OK. Not too bad, but it needs to be a bit settings and adjustment. How we are going to achieve it? Well, we can go back to settings and change the settings too. But it's a little weird because you don't know how it's going to be looked like. So we are going to do that in the floor plan. For instance, I'm just going to hit this purple and move this dimension to here. And also I can move the, the circle closer to the window. But as you can see, it has got a fill inside of it. So how we are going to remove that? In the settings, we will see the marker geometry. And also we can see the marker text style, but we are going to use this marker symbol and text. Let's move forward. You can open this menu too. In the last page, we can see the 2D representation. From here, we will uncheck this use marker fill. Let's click OK. And as you can see, it's completely empty. But it's a little big, so let's reduce it. From the same page, from here, we can use here, we can select different shapes, but after selecting one of these shapes, we will change the size from here, dimension marker, which is 1 cm, 10 mm actually. Now let's make this 5, and as you can see, you can see the preview here. So therefore, you don't have to click OK after each adjustments. Now, since we can see the preview here, let's move forward. We can see the seal value, which is 80, but it's not true. Our seal value is 90. How we are going to fix that? I want this to be placed as 90 centimeters here. We see 80 cm here, so this is wrong. Let's fix this. From the settings, here you can see a value, which is 10. It says subfloor thickness. Let's try to place zero value here. Now it's correct. They say that we are going to remove this seal text. Let's do it. I go further here, forward and we will see this prefix we can remove this or we can just input s just like that this is okay but we are going to copy the settings to other windows we have a window here 
and how we are going to copy the settings marker settings to this window by using alt and reusing control alt one effect because as you can see our window dimensions are changing so this window turns out completely same with this one thus we, are, we have to follow another way there's an option here you can filter your transform settings how can filter our transform settings we will do that while we are copying the settings let's hit alt copy the settings and before clicking here we will see this transfer all settings let's click that and from here we will create a transfer settings let's click this and we will see something like this unfortunately there is no option for only window marker so we are going to make a trick first of all we will duplicate a kind of settings here let's copy this one and type in here maybe window marker after that we will click ok then we will uncheck all of the settings by selecting all of them like this after that we will input here window and we will see this window and door well we don't want to change size so this is going to be unchecked seal height reveal position id all of them won't be changed except all other settings we now have any more options so we will click this also as you can realize this says window door marker also as you can realize this works for window and also door so this element transfer settings will work for window and door therefore we can change this window name or we can add door 2 now this is more correct now we are going to click ok and look at what we have under the transfer all settings we will click this our newly created window door marker there we go we haven't changed the size of the window we have only added the marker it says s value as 0 which is correct because this window start from the seal to wall base as 0 all right for this marker sets you can see the w here where it comes from let's look at under the content id seal we will see this show id which is hot link and element id so we will use the element id for this or you can use custom text but instead of using custom text i prefer using element id or hot link element id after that under the classification and properties we will change the id of the window now it's w for now let's say that we are going to input input here window wn i don't know if you click ok you will see this all right i have another problem and solution for you let's presume that our building consists of lots of windows or doors and they say that you want to use window 1 window 2 door 1 or 2 for each kind of window as marker so what you are going to do you will go to settings and change the id from here but it's a lot of work you will select each window one by one or door and change settings here instead of doing this i have a tip for you with this method you will be able to change all of the ids 
very easily and in a correct way. We are going to use the schedule system. Let's do that. We are going to create a new schedule. Let's right click the elements or schedule. Click new. After that, we will input a name, maybe door or window. This is going to be element and this is going to be new. Let's click OK. Now from here, as a value, we will select window and we are going to input here element and click this element type. And this is going to be door. And this is going to be or, not and. Alright, now we are going to add some fields. Let's search for ID. And under the general parameters, we will see this element ID. Let's double click that and click OK. As you can see here, we can see all of the list. And all of them are D and W and W1, W2. Only things to do is changing these values. It's pretty easy. By the way, if you want to see which story are they in, we can do that too under the settings again. From add fields, we will search for story. And we will see this home store name. And this is going to be at the top. So they are going to be listed for their home store name. And we will see this. This is ground floor. And this is first story. And this is second story. Now we can change this value according to their floor type. For the demonstration purpose, I will place door 1, 2, 3, and 4, and etc. After putting all of these, let's go back to our floor plan. And for instance, let's select this and we will see this ID 11, ID 1, and ID 7, door 7. And this was how you can change their IDs easily. Alright guys, this was all it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye. And if you are serious about learning ARCAD, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.